Okay, we're over at the block now, and the first thing I'd like to point out is that I have this screwdriver in. I have the screwdriver in to stop the engine from turning, because at this stage we're going to loosen these screws that are clamping the liners in, and we're going to fit the head studs in preparation for fitting the head. So it's important that we don't wind the engine over through this process because the, the ring tension um, on the liners can move a liner up a little bit and if it moves the liner up a bit, well you've got to pull that liner out. Um, it will leak down the bottom and it will put water back into your sump. There's no two ways about that. Now, to put the studs in, we have to make sure that the, that the holes are clean and make sure they're all cleaned out properly. So I just use a little bit of brake cleaner, spray it down the hole. Let him dry or blow him dry. So, whoops, so we've just made sure once more that there's no rubbish down in there. And then we take a head bolt. Now there's a coarse end and a fine threaded end. Now you'll notice there's a little split, a, a little cut down the coarse end. Now the, the reason behind that is if, if you put a bit of sealant or something on there, um, or you just have a blind hole with a bit of oil and you go and screw that in, you're likely to have a hydraulic lock. And if you really give it some up the top here and try and push it down, you can break a casting out. That's how strong it gets. The aftermarket studs don't have that on it, but um, the old ones did. So look, all we're doing here, we have proper stud removers, but I'm just showing you the two nut method because most of you don't have a stud. Oh, well, perhaps you do, who knows? But um, and look, all we're doing here is grabbing a spanner one each way and we're, we're locking that, locking those two bolts onto the stud. So now we just get a little bit of your favourite Loctite. Don't get too carried away with um, what sort of Loctite, it's just got to be a thread locker. And you don't even have to do this if you don't want, you can just put them in. But I like to put the thread locker in. And then we just take that down till it's firm. That feels good. Then we just hold this bottom. And away we go. Now this one here, you remember I couldn't get the stud out. That's fine. If you have one like that, it's up to you whether you decide to heat down the side of the block and try and um, get it off or whether you leave it like I've chose to do here. So. And I'm going to do the four corners and leave two in the middle because in the meantime they're holding the liners in place. So these studs, you can remember that we got them off the side covers where your PDO lever is. So one by one we'll... Clean them out, blow them dry, put the lock nuts on, now don't do this job until you're ready to put the head on, so put the studs in and then get the head, um, try and put the head on 
in the same day or the same process sort of thing. Little dab of Loctite. And you can see how easy that is to screw in. That's how it should be. We know if it's like that, there's no burr on the threads or anything like that. I had an 11.16 open ender here, and you think I can find it? It'll be sitting there somewhere, looking at me. I'll do the right hand rear. And we still have these two washers inside, clamping the liners down. So it's not a big job. This is all just in real time, so. The biggest thing is make sure everything's clean. You can't tension a bolt down a dirty thread, whether it's a stud with a nut on the top or whatever it is. If you want new nuts for up here, they're three, oh, they're seven sixteen UNF, the fine thread. Now and then I put new nuts on them, but um, often if the old nuts are fine, they seem a little bit wider than the old ones. There are a few cars, a few young bikes racing around the neighbourhood today, so that's all right. I was young once, never did a thing wrong ever. Then you can probably hear the shed creak, I don't know if you can or you can't. We've gone to body microphones now and they're not as sensitive to the outside air. I reckon that... I, don't know, I was going to say it looks crooked but it can't be.
Might just pan out a little. Now I'm up the front. I seem to be getting too close to you all. Okay, look, what I'll do, I'll pop this one in and then I'll pan away and we'll come back when we're a little bit closer rather than you watching the same thing over and over and over again. I know I'm pretty to watch but you can only have so much of that, eh? It's easy to clean that up now. Okay, I'll continue on. I'll come back when we're almost done. And there you go. There's all the studs in. Now, they're all the same height. We still have the screwdriver down the side there so the engine can't be turned. So we'll call this video done. We'll come back and we'll slide the head on and we'll do the retensioning or, or the tensioning.